What's up, Nicole? Oh, wow, this is quite the setup. Well, you're the cover story. We gotta make it look good. I dig it, I dig it. So what would you like me here, there? I think we'll have you head into the back so we can take some pictures while we do the interview. Oh, at the same time? Yeah, we'll keep everything real natural and get you out of here a little quicker. <laughs> Sound like you're trying to get rid of me. No, I just assume you've got a secret art gallery show or something you gotta <laughs> run to. <laughs> This is Erica, and she'll be taking the photos. Nice to meet you, MP. Pleasure. We're all set uh, whenever you're ready. OK. Give me something cool, something confidant. You own this place, babe, OK? OK, I got it, I got it. Oh, I love this. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good? OK, so can I hit you up with some questions? Go ahead. Oh, you can answer. Just uh, don't lose the vibe. Okay, babe. I got you, I got you. All right, so here we are, photo shoot, cover story, not because of basketball, but because of rap. Crazy, right? <laughs> a, a bit. Do you feel like a rapper? I don't know. What does a rapper feel like? A uh, brush, confidant, that's what I want. Uh, none of this shrug, you know, just uh, give me that elon. So I guess what I'm asking is, do you feel more like a basketball player or a musician? Oh, that's an easy question. I would say baller, 100%. I mean, that is my first and only true love. It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, so finding Less talking, that... more posing. Okay, my bad. Real quick. Just finding that outlet with music has been super cool, but I've existed without that outlet until my, for my whole life up until this point. Um, you take basketball away from me, I have no idea who I am, you know? Okay, I hear you, but do you worry that exploring this other passion might be opening you up to criticism? Who? I don't know, I mean, you have a bad game, a fan might think you're not as focused as you could be. You've already been quite a lightning rod in the media with your draft position and local popularity and whatnot. Do you worry at all about giving your critics more ammunition? Um, I don't think it does anybody much good to worry about what the critics think. Now, if it was coming from the team, that's a different story right there, you feel me? So no one has expressed any concern with your foray into music? No, nah, it's actually the complete opposite. Everyone's been really, really supportive. But if that changes, you know, I'm always down to listen to those concerns. Okay, so uh, new direction. Okay. Now you're a beat boy, and you've lost your balloon. It's floating away, but you're angry at the balloon, okay? Okay. Honestly, I don't know what that means, but I'll try to internalize it. Oh, good, it. yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I am so glad you're there and I am here. So music has happened for you seemingly overnight. Does it surprise you how quickly you've been taken seriously as a musician? Mm, a little. And now the balloon is gone. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is something I think that people can see that shines through us, how serious that I take it. You know, it's just not something casual that I just do on a whim. Oh, I like that one. So is it something you've thought about doing for a while? Absolutely. Music is something that's very important to me. And I think that part shines through. The fact that I've spent years listening, rapping along, paying attention to like the changes in the music, that is what made it easier for me to get into. It seems like you've given this a lot of thought. Well, I'm just trying to give you some good answers, that's all. Oh, I like this little smile. <laughs> More of that. Okay. No, too big. Just a, a teeny smile, like, like you know a secret. Huh? <laughs> Not to interrupt, but music is obviously something you take seriously. Why does music matter to you? So it's basically giving me another avenue to connect with people. Do you mean your audience or people you're collaborating with? Uh, both, actually. I mean, my favorite thing about playing ball is being on a team and going together uh, towards a goal. The same with music. Uh, <laughs> um, when we're in the studio, we're talking about ideas and we're taking strengths and talents from different people and try to meld them together to do something special. You know, to me, that's very cool and was a big reason why, you know, I wanted to go into something new. Okay, so now uh, we're almost done. I just need you to pretend you're a bunny. Like hopping around? Uh, no. 
though no one else knows where we're burning. Maybe that was your little secret. Okay, you ask questions, I take photos. Okay, ignore her. Oh, Is this good? Perfect, perfect. I love it, I love it. Just don't let us see your little cotton tail, okay? Okay, well, since we're about to wrap this up, last question. What now? What's next? An album? A tour? Nah, I'm gonna pretty much just keep plugging away. You know, I'm trying to win an NBA championship. That's my focus. You know, so I'm grinding every day until I get there. Okay, well, I guess good luck with that. I'm good. You? MP, you are brilliant. You're like my Edie Sedgwick. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I hope that's a good thing. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Thanks, MP. I'll let Ashley know as soon as we've got a cover. For sure, thank you. I can't wait to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope it's not that funny for her. <laughs>